I saw it. There we go, there we go. I did it, I did it. <laughs> quirk 1, 5 all out. You do your regular texturing into Quirk 2 and Quirk 1. You dash cancel again to make it do some more damage, and then he's getting really good damage this way. Do a lot of the time isn't actually a real combo, but I do two hits into this, and then if the opponent does decide to get hit by it, well, I'm not decide, but if they do end up hitting hit by it, I can go in for full combos super easily. I might get a wall splat like I did just then. You can't see all this damage that I just did, but that oh my god. That wasn't even a... Oh my... Did you see how much damage that was? That was... I missed the the combo reset, but that was... What, like 10,000 on top of... Uh, I don't, yeah, they're going to be very cautious of them, so a lot of the time I can just dash out, put a bunch out, and they're going to respect me the whole time, so much that I can just get a combo super easily. Okay, I think we've talked enough. I don't mess it up. I shouldn't be missing it up because it's pretty easy. There you go, 9,000 damage. It's a pretty decent attack string. It does a lot of damage and a lot of hits for a normal attack string. And it's really unique how it brings him into the air with like the really extra explosion. Now let's get into his combos. So a very, very basic um, uh, derby combo looks something like this. So you do his regular attack string, into his quirk 2, dash cancel, 2 hits, into his armor move. It does... oh that did a bit less damage, usually it does about 9000 damage. Just depends, because he's all these multi-hitting moves. So it's a bit below average damage, but it's very easy, and as I mentioned before, you can... ending his combos in his yellow move is really good because you can cancel it into a bunch of other quirk moves, put a bunch of traps on the screen, put his flamethrower out, all before the opponent can even get up. So it's really crazy, really, really good stuff. Okay, so I now I know you probably want some more um, interesting or advanced combos. So Dobby is pretty interesting in a lot of ways. So as I was showing you before, a combo that I like to do isn't a real combo, but it's using these traps to do these like plus on block pseudo combos. So you like do two hits into that, and then once you, <coughs> if you see they get hit by it, you can choose to go into a simple combo again, and then you're going to get some damage that way. And even though it says it was what 7,800 damage, if you include 1,000 at uh, 1,100, it's like 800, um, 8,900,000 damage. So pretty good stuff. Especially seeing as this is safe on block or whip. Now you can also do combos like starting in the air to do a little bit more damage. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna show you some extra fancy combos. Darby doesn't get too much damage even when he tries to go like really fancy, and I think that's one of his like main weaknesses, but he can still get really good damage. So some fancy combos that I have with Darby are something like two hits into the trap, and I dash away, throw the a quirk one projectile out, do two hits. I mean, okay, wait, I need to annotate this better. So I throw the projectile out, but I dash cancel the throwing out of the projectile, and then when I do two hits after my dash cancel, I press quirk one again, and it summons a fireball at them. So at that point, it looks something like this. And then I just dash again, and end my combo. And that does uh, 7,500 damage. It's a bit less damage, but like, it looks so cool, doesn't it? Um, you can actually make it a bit more damage, I believe, if you, um... Oops, 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 that's the wrong thing. Oh, why am I on the ground? But if he, uh, as you saw, if you do it after his quirk too in the air. Hello? I didn't get hit by anything. Ah, 
It's a bit hard to time, I'm just going to turn them off of recovery just to show you. But it is a real combo if you're better at execution than me. And then that's some damage as well, actually that's a good nice. But it's still, they look cool, that's the most important part. <laughs> um, okay. One of the most, I think, the advanced derby combos actually involve his his yellow attack, his ground yellow attack. So, a cool combo that I've found is if you do two hits into his yellow attack, which does combo, if you cancel the yellow attack into his fireball, the fireball doesn't actually hit, which is good. So then you can dash cancel the entry of the fireball into what we were doing before, except it's after a like more damaging starter. So it looks something like this. Did I even get the fireball out? No, I, I did it too early. So you have to wait after some hits of the armor move hit. Dash cancel. Oh, too late. So. Okay, and then into this. Oh, no, 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 no. He got hit by it before it. He's supposed to. Ah! Damn it, why are we on the wall? <laughs> I just want to show it normally first. And I didn't dash cancel. See, this is why I'm saying they're pretty uh, advanced combos. I can't even really hit them <laughs> to showcase them. Okay, I'm gonna turn him. You saw it. It is a real combo. I showed it before working correctly. I'm just gonna turn recovery off just to show you. So I don't, we're not here for hours. No! The yellow attack missed. You can see that's already doing a lot more damage than his regular combos are doing. Okay, I'll try again. Hello? Why are we on the wall? Damn it. Oh, and you got hit by the fireball. So, you do really need to be careful of your spacing. No! <laughs> Damn it. I'm <laughs> sorry. Okay, come on, come on. You can do this, Mr. Old Roman. No, I didn't get the Bible out. I, can, I saw it. There we go, there we go. I did it, I did it. <laughs> And look, that's going to do a lot of damage, almost 11,000 damage for a single dash cancel combo. And that's a lot of damage compared to how much he was getting before with his, what, like 7,000, 8,000 damage combo. But as you can see from the amount of time that it took me to land the combo, it is a lot more difficult than, oh look, now I'm getting it consistently. Look at this group. Okay. I still got, oh, like most of it, except for the yellow attack at the end. But yeah. That's a good way to make his combos more damaging, and I also think it looks way more flashy, doesn't it? Like you're doing into the yellow attack, and then there's only one dash will cancel here, but you use that fireball into like extend it, and you summon the fireball afterwards. I think it just looks really cool, and that's what I try to go for online when I'm playing with Darby, even though it's a bit harder than his other combos. It's totally worth it in my books. Because it, it just looks way cooler, and coolness is everything. No. <laughs> okay, anyways, um, what else do we have combo wise with Tabi? Obviously, like, if you've just thrown the fireball out and you're doing something like. You can do something like this, and then that makes your combo free uh, to get like around 10,000 damage, which is really good. It's more damage than he's normally getting, and it's meterless. So you, that's why you always want to make sure you have as many fires out as possible, especially his Quirk 1 fire, because it gives him better combos. Ah, what? That missed. <laughs> oh no. Quick, quick. Okay, that doesn't hit when he's too high in the air. But yeah, essentially, when he has his Quirk, um, his quirk 1 Fireball out, you do regular texturing into Quirk 2 and Quirk 1. You dash cancel again to make it do some more damage, and then he's getting really good damage this way. And even on the Meaty Blow, when he ends his combos in his yellow attack, 
you're always going to want to be pressing as many quirk buttons as you can. Getting out the quirk 2 fire, putting out the quirk 1 fire, putting out a bunch of traps, putting out the flamethrower, put out everything you can before they wake up and punish you. Because that's just how Darby's played. You want to make sure you have as much setups and screen controls on the screen as possible. But, sorry guys, but I think that's about all I have to say with Darby. He's a super fun character. I love all the amount of like traps and interesting combo, like weird potentially he has. All of his unusual buttons. Actually, no, I'm not done. I'm not <laughs> Keep listening to me. Um, okay, so. If, a lot of the time, I actually don't do dash cancels in my combos with Darby. So after I do my regular attack string, I do regular attack string into Quark 2, into Quark 1. Boy, oh, land on the ground. And then I just chase the opponent down, and boy. And a lot of the time, if they're... Oh my god. Good demonstrations. <laughs> So then my Quark 1's out, and why is he run jumping so weird? <laughs> but basically, after you do like two, end your long, your um, just like this regular attack string, you do Quark 2, Quark 1, and then you dash after them, and a lot of the time they're gonna press buttons in the air, or um, I don't know, jump another time in the air, or do something, so they're gonna be in the air for a bit longer than this annoying Bakugo is. Which means that a lot of the time I can just dash up, and pretend I've just dashed up, you can do two hits into his Quirk 1 Fireball, and then get a free combo extension that way. And then it's gonna- oh no, he got hit by it. But like, pretend, <laughs> just imagine that I've done the combo into Quirk 2, into Quirk 1, and I dashed after him, and then I'm doing this combo here. So yeah, we're high in the air together, I chase after him, I hit him with my attack string, and then I'm doing this stuff, and then it misses, because I'm really good at giving demonstrations. <laughs> Yeah, essentially, um, you can make it meterless to go, like if you're saving up your plus ultra 2 or something, you know, stay in the air, summon your that, see I was able to get a combo that way. It's just a good way of saving your meter and not using everything at once. If you aren't able to get your combo, just do something like this, and then just make sure you summon the fireball onto the opponent, and you know, oh look, I did it there. But I'm, how many times can Mr. Alperonin mess up recording one single video? Scientists are shocked. Um, another quick thing, I've got a lot of quick things. Um, Darby's regular attack string is pretty good at getting water pads, actually. If you ever realize that you're kind of facing the wall, like maybe you've done something like this, just go into his regular attack string and leave it, because you're probably going to get a wall splat. I don't even know what's happening at this point. Why am I still recording? <laughs> but yeah, regular attack strings, good at wall splats. His air attack string as well. Hello, lags. You can get wall splats if you're facing right into the wall, but it doesn't send them flying that far, so it's not as good. But just keep that in mind if you're ever trying to get wall splat combos. Okay guys, I think that's about all I have to say about Darby. He's a really cool character. He is such amazing screen control with his traps, you know, dashing into the opponent, putting up a bunch of traps, putting up a flamethrower, putting up this all these fires on the screen that the opponent has to avoid, doing extended combos. Summoning this fireball back at the opponent and letting you do more combos with it. He's just a really fun character, very flexible, and he's definitely a character whose strength is in the hands of the user. So he can either be an annoying Darby spammer who just runs away and does this move, and then the fireball move and does that all day and runs away. Because I know people like fighting against that Darby. <laughs> but there's also Darbies that you fight online that are a lot more adept with his combos and setups and know really how to get the most out of Darby in a actually fun to play way. <laughs> Anyways guys, that's all I have to say about Darby. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!